Tiny bit more, you don't. I don't usually have the sunlight like this. I was gonna fake it and say it was really good. <laughs> That's how the episode starts. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> I mean, right where I was hoping to just mug it up for that. A block of wood is never just a block of wood. It's a starting line. It's alive with possibility. Listen carefully. It's saying something softly. Let's do something. That's good. Just gonna card scrape that. Perfect.
All right. So one thing I did was I set my calipers to the shank of the drill bit to give me that exact half inch so that when I was turning my knobs, I also turned that section so that I would get a perfect fit. And then we'll wedge it from the back. That'll be a finished knob. And very, very little on here. Because if you, whatever you put on here, squeezes out. <laughs> and makes a mess. Just want to glaze the tenon with a little glue here. Now I'm going to set the wedge so it drives into end grain. So I want the wedge vertical to the front. And Nice. All right. That's it. You can see how tight that is, right up to the shoulder. Let that dry a bit, and then we'll trim it off. All right, the moment of truth. We get to put on some finish. It's a long time coming. Just some Danish oil to get it started. And uh, Danish oil is a nice sealer and then I'm gonna come over the top of this after two or three coats of Danish oil I'll put a coat of uh, water locks tongue oil varnish and I'm gonna use the satin and I'll thin it a little bit so that it lays out really nice and smooth but This will let soak in nice. Now sometimes you deal with a little bit of blotching or blotch prone cherry and a wash coat of shellac is nice in that case, but I'm just gonna go for it. This is really beautiful cherry and look at that, nice color. This is where we get to see how our work on those dovetails pops. I'm not going to go inside the case with this. I'm going to finish the inside of the case with shellac. You don't want to put oil on the inside of a case piece because it takes forever to cure. And for months, you'll be opening those drawers, smelling the oil, wondering why you did that. <laughs> I learned that from the hard way. And plus, it's actually... The interior of the case with shellac is so beautiful for the drawers to slide and you can spray it in there. It dries quickly. A little wax and shellac on those drawers and you are in good shape. It's nice as you go along, you remember all the different phases of the project. Laying those dovetail slots in there for the dividers. Cutting these down here on the corner. Getting that nice miter in there for the base molding. So it's important to make sure the screws are not too long. That's always a... <laughs> I'm never quite sure until I run my hand over the top after. <laughs> See, we don't really have to worry about wood movement here since 
everything's oriented in the same direction. And that's it. All right, we're going to slide in the dust partitions. This is, it just cleans it up and tidies up the inside, gives it a nice tighter look, a little more upscale. And we've got these grooves, the way this is assembled in here, it's all there to, all you really need to do is add these panels and so it's not a lot to add the dust partitions. And of course, if you're going to put locks in your chest, you would need the dust partitions so that someone couldn't open one drawer and reach down into the next. Although I'm not sure why the shakers would have locks on their drawers. So these don't get glued in, these dividers, so they can be removed later on. But mechanically, the dovetail joint is stabilizing the, the case at that width. With those in, we're ready to put on the back. All right, we're just getting the back on. Got these little 16th inch spacers. Give us a nice even look. And allow for a little bit of movement. The last screw. That's about it, except for putting in the drawers. All right, it's been a long road building a piece like this, but it's so satisfying. And to imagine that the one we were copying was built in 1844, there's no reason this one won't see 200 years of life, maybe then some. Oh, man, it feels good to finally have it done. I think the shakers would approve, and I think Pug would like this one too.